That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? It is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> so I'm Lakeisha. I live in San Antonio, um, Texas, but I'm from Atlanta. Um, but we moved to San Antonio by Baltimore, by way of Baltimore, two years ago. It feels like it's been longer, but I guess that's what how it feels when you have kids. Um, time just goes by. Sometimes kind of long. But... Um, so I'm 32. I had to think about it. I was like, wait, am I 32? <laughs> I know. That's what kids are do to your yeah. girl. <laughs> so I'm 32. Um, and I, like I said, I live in San Antonio with my boyfriend, Axel. And we have a three-year-old son named Zane and a 21-month-old daughter named Zaniya. Okay. Uh, tell us uh, about your channel. Because that's where I basically found you at. The YouTube channel is called Blind Mom's Journey. And so basically it focuses on me as a blind mom, a graduate student, a sports person, so playing sports. So everything that I do like in my life. And so I tell people that they can look forward to having some parenting tips, um, like some, you'll see some cuteness from my kids, uh, like I believe we have a video that's like the river walk. Mm -hmm. So like we went walking. Um, when the pandemic started, we didn't really have a lot to do with our kids. And so we have a park across the street and you can walk through that park to get to the river walk. And so we used to take them there all the time just to get them out of the house. And so I was like, this would be great to show people. And so I think that was my last video on there because then my, my attention got stolen, <laughs> was stolen and put to something uh, something different that I wanted to try out. So, okay. but it started. It all started with the with the YouTube channel. You are you are um, attending uh, the University of Texas, right? Or Texas Tech? Texas Tech uh, University Health and Sciences you, Center. And you are also a mom, and you also play sports. Now, uh, there there are other things that you are doing as well, but the fact uh, of, of it remains that you are not a uh, one who just you know, sitting at home not doing anything and and just feeling you know down because there are a lot of uh, individuals who are impaired physically um visually and others that they may feel <clears throat> that this is the end of the world to them as they know it but what what is it that's that's, that's keeping you focused and keep, keep, and keeping your drive alive as they say um i've always been like a like like an active like a go-getter like i don't like sitting still so like my parents when i grew up when i was growing up they um they put me in all these different activities and i probably was the most active out of me and my siblings i have three sisters well i have five but <laughs> i lived with three of them and i was just always on the go because i just don't like sitting at home and so one of the reasons why i went to get my bachelor's was because i knew that it was gonna be hard for me to find a job as a blind person. It's not oh, yes. easy. So I was like, I can't, I refuse to sit at home and just let things be like that. So I, I mean, it took me some time uh, to get my bachelor's because I ended up taking a break and going to a training center because I didn't have the confidence that I needed to like, to be successful. But I finished it. And then when we moved here to San Antonio, um, I had just left my job. Um, and I was really bummed about that, but I was also six months pregnant. And so I knew that it was gonna be hard for me to go get another job and then have to leave on maternity leave. So I decided to go back to school, but I didn't um, I didn't start with my master's. I started with an associate's degree. So I took one class for um, to get my associates in paralegal services. Um, but then, something clicked and I was like man if I'm gonna go to school I might as well get my master's like I don't need to go backwards so I started my master's program in the fall of 2019 
I just didn't make any sense just to get my my uh, associates. So uh, I think, let's see, I've been doing it. Uh, this will be my fifth semester and I have six more to go, including this new semester. So it's taking a little bit of time, but I know that when I'm done, um, I can get two certifications. So I can become a clinical rehabilitation counselor and a licensed practitioner. Okay. Now you're speaking of uh, how hard it is for uh, blind people to find jobs, that, and I'm I'm definitely a, a test, living testament of that. Um, how does that make you feel, or uh, when when you feel that you you have to go to school, or you you gone to school, or you in the process of going to school and whatnot, and you finding out that you know it's it's going to be a a very uh, um, different the task of you getting a job versus someone who was sighted is going to be a little a little harder what's your opinion about, about that i honestly i hate it because i feel like our society and i forgive me i'm a sociologist major <laughs> so like i i don't know i look at things kind of deep sometimes but i feel like our society kind of doesn't give us the opportunity to show what we're made of um because there's a lot of blind people out there that can do some amazing things, but they are held back because of their blindness and people are so afraid to give us a try, like to give us that chance to actually show how, you know, how we operate. Mm -hmm. And I know there's been times where I've been on the job and I did so much better than sighted, like my sighted peers. So I just, I don't know. I wish that there was something that could be done to kind of changed like the stigma the negative stigma of mm -hmm. society you also are involved as we uh, change gears in in, in in sports and what have you and uh there's a sport called uh beat uh beat baseball yes tell us about that um so i've been playing beat baseball so i began when i was a little kid like i said my mom and my dad got me into a lot of, of activities so beat baseball was one of them but i took a break a long break <laughs> and i so i started back playing in 2014 and um i started with the team in atlanta because that's where i lived um but now when i got with my boyfriend he's from texas so it didn't make well and then the atlanta team kind of disbanded so it didn't make sense for me to not be on his team because i mean yeah i don't know that's but, your man yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be there supporting him anyway so i might as well play so i play for the san antonio jets and we um we are number two in the country in the country right now now what do you hope to do with your youtube oh i hope to okay so i don't know honestly <laughs> because I hope that I can um, kind of incorporate it with um, so I started like a small business um, last year so I'm hoping that I can do videos like dealing with that but I also have a blind moms podcast and we've started a YouTube channel over there and we've been doing um, more videos um, we have like videos about cooking as a blind person and um, just things as dealing with parenting. So my hope is that I will get more active with my YouTube channel um, so that I can start, I can continue to show people that it is okay to be blind. It is possible to be a parent and you can be a blind parent and you can still do your own thing. Like you can still go to school, you can still work, you can still have a social life. Um, the world doesn't end because you can't see. It, it only ends if you allow it to affect how you, you know, how you operate. From day and to I'm day. glad you mentioned that because I was going to, uh, because I, I was going to mention about the fact that you're not allowing your visual impairment to define you. You you definitely uh, uh, spoke on um, why you shouldn't, and 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 that's that's a good thing, you know. What I'm saying keep keep it moving. The world, you know, you have to, you, you have to stay focused. Yeah, and that, that's that's important. Um, do you have any last minute words that you would like to share with with uh, the audience? Um, just to <laughs> never underestimate people because I mean, you would be surprised at someone's talents. Um, a lot of people, a lot of blind people are afraid sometimes to show what they're capable of because they know that people doubt them. I mean, it's hard. I'm not even gonna lie. It's hard being a blind person in our society because there's no expectations for us. And then 
not only that, but no one believes that we can do anything. And that's just not blind people. It's just people with disabilities in general. And I just wish that somehow we could change people's views on how disability people with disabilities um are because there's some really awesome people and it's kind of sad that people only know about a disability if they're famous so everybody knows about stevie wonder everybody knows about ray charles but not every blind person is going to be famous but they still have like so much to offer so well you have a lot to offer and if you continue to stay the course and put out videos um, uh, ref in regards to blind people doing, you know, just just living their lives. That's gonna help out a great deal. And not only that, if, if everyone who 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 is doing things that we are doing continue to put out uh, videos such as this and just informative videos, that's that's gonna help out a great deal too. So I uh, definitely commend you on what you're doing. I love your personality, and I hope that you come back again soon. Give everybody the names of the two. Um, YouTube channels that they can look for because I'm gonna put them in the uh, description as well. Okay, um, so my personal YouTube channel is Blind Mom's Journey, and the Blind Mom's podcast is called Babies Down, Bottles Up. Okay, I like that. And <laughs> how, how did you come up with that name? Um, it took a lot of a lot of uh, brainstorming. So it's me and five other ladies who um, we're all blind moms, um, and we're from all over, like different races so everybody's is different but the one thing that we have in common is our blindness and so um i wanted to do a video about that but i knew that it wouldn't cover everything because people need there's so much that people need to know about blind parenting that we honestly there's no room to leave anything out so uh we started our podcast and uh, we shopped around. We we did a lot of voting, but "Babies Down, Bottles Up" was like the catchiest one. I love that. I love that name. But anyway, uh, well, if there's anything that uh, I could do do for you, um, definitely get back in touch with me, and um, you know we can share some more ideas or share whatever. I can come on your po your podcast, whatever. That'd be great. Yeah, you know, appreciate it. But thanks again, uh, Keisha, for coming. I love your personality, and so. Mm -hmm. uh, your, your husband i said hi and hopefully he'll be able to come on as well um any last final words no thanks for having me i enjoyed it <laughs>